Welcome back, guys. Today, we have something special for you. 1994 Toyota JDM Supra. Welcome back to Fast and the Furious. Uh, this is a very nice example of a JDM Supra, what you can import now to the USA. So this is the iconic target top. Um, this is actually a super rare car. They only made about 1,500 of these with the target tops. They all are automatics. So it makes this car pretty rare. Um, very nice, very low mileage. I, have it, I believe it has around 46,000 original miles on it. Um, it has some brand new um, Curva concept wheels. These are 18 inch, new tires all the way around, brand new uh, slotted and drilled rotors and new pads. It has new coilovers all the way around. It's just really ready to get out there and go wherever you wanna go with it. Um, there's a couple cool things that come with the JDM cars that uh, the US market didn't have. Uh, one was the option to have the foldable mirrors. This one, unfortunately, does not have the retractable mirrors, but it does have the extra uh, glove box, which is on the top. Normally, in the US model, you would have had an airbag there. So this is how the JDM cars kind of came. Um, again, really nice seats. Everything is really well done. Um, in very good condition, totally paint corrected and just ready to take out wherever you wanna go. You will definitely turn heads in this car. Now let's take a look under the hood and see what gets this thing going. So under the hood is the iconic 2JZ motor that everybody is always after. This is the naturally aspirated version, but in very good condition. You can turbo it. You can build these things up to 1,000 horsepower if you want. The nice thing about this one, this one is all original, all stock, uh, with the exception of the suspension and stuff. So you can pretty much kind of customize it the way that you would like to do it yourself. Or you just keep it like this and, uh, you know, drive it for the next 200,000 miles. I mean, these things will go forever. Uh, you can see there the new uh, coilovers that are all there, fully adjustable all the way around, uh, also in the rear. And uh, it's just a really nice exception. You can see that the under the hood still, uh, everything is in very good condition. Uh, headlights are still there. These are the stock headlights where a lot of the times they'll put different headlights in there. Everything is nice and original and just ready to rock and roll. So here we are inside the cockpit. Uh, the coolest thing that I always thought about these cars is how this is almost like an airplane. I mean, everything is very contoured to you in here. And even though this is uh, right-hand drive, it's still, everything fits to you very nicely. Uh, if you've never drove a right-hand drive car, it is not as hard as you would imagine. It's uh, the hardest thing is using the turn signals on the right side of the steering wheel. Uh, but other than that, everything is, uh, is perfectly really good condition. You see a little, a little spot here, but other than that, the steering wheel, everything is in very good condition. No cracks in the dash. Uh, it has a Sony Apple CarPlay stereo system. Air conditioning blows cold. Cigarette lighter works. Everything works in this car. Has the original target top Toyota tool for taking the target top on and off. And has the uh, remote control for the stereo system. So just a really nice, Great car, has also your Apple um, uh, iPod hook up here. iPod sounds old, but that's okay. Uh, it's just, again, really nice example of what we try to bring in here at uh, Collectible Motor Cars of Atlanta. So if you like these and these videos, hit like and subscribe and keep coming and we'll uh, keep finding more interesting things to bring to you guys. We appreciate it. So here we are underneath the Supra, and as you can tell, I don't see any uh, indications of any kind of leaks under here. Everything looks really nice and dry. Uh, it looks to be in very good condition. You can see a little bit of corrosion on the exhaust system, but other than that, it's still for, uh, you know, a 1994, it's in very, very good condition. The skid plates are all underneath of it. Uh, all the original, um, heat shields are still in place. It does have an aftermarket cat back system, which you can see here that's just been added. Uh, that goes out to the rear of the car. 
So that seems to be the only rear, uh, you know, major upgrade that I see underneath the car. Uh, again, all new uh, discs, slotted discs and uh, new pads all the way around, brand new wheels and tires. So you just can jump in the car, go anywhere. New shocks and coil over. So, uh, you know, it's ready really just to go ride uh, whatever trip you want to take it on.